Hey everyone, in this video we'll see how to add a clickable link on your YouTube video. I'll take you to my computer screen and we'll see how to do that. Alright, now for those of you who don't know what those clickable links are called, those are called annotations. So to get there, all you have to do is to click on your avatar icon on top upper hand corner and click on Creator Studio and you'll have to choose a video um, from video manager so click on video manager which will pull you up all the videos you have uploaded to your YouTube account and once you choose the video you want the annotations to be done on I would like to choose this one once you choose that click on edit button by the thumbnail there when you click edit that will take you to the page where you can do all the different editings once you upload your video files to your YouTube account take a look at the upper hand side here you can see different options click on annotations and when you do that they'll start playing the video automatically for you so I'll pause it for you right there and this is where we add all the annotations to the video so if you take a look at the right hand side here you can see this tab here click on that add annotation and that will give you all the different kinds of annotations you can add onto your video uh, like speech bubble note title spotlight and label so for this example to demonstrate it to you what I'm gonna do is to add three labels to this video here so what I'll do is I like to add a label to the place where my website appears on the screen so I'll take my visitors I'd like to give them an option to visit my website and and also at the end card I'd also like to give them an option to view one of my videos or to subscribe to my channel so what I'm going to do is I'll take you through uh, where I add the label to the website here and I'll fast forward the other two so, it, so that you can sit back and watch me do it. So to add an annotation you'll have to click on the add annotation and in this case as I mentioned I'm going to add a label. It's all the same but looks different and it's uh, for different purposes but, but the basic purpose is to highlight the area and link it to another one of your websites or to a channel or a playlist etc so in this case I'm gonna add a label to the to the website link so to do that once you click the label like I mentioned you, that'll give you the label itself and once you click and drag it on the video area you can do that and once you get choose where it needs to go you can place it there and to change the size all you have to do is choose one of these corners I'm gonna pick this one and click on and drag and stretch it so that you can properly align it now to add a text to the label you can click on to the label box here where you can add your text I'm gonna add visit my website so that'll appear here and to change the font click on the font tab here and I'd like to go with 16 and you only have two options to choose from to change the font color so it depending depends on what kind of color you give um, your label so I'd like to first change the label color which I would like to go with this one I think it's purple I'm really bad with colors anyway so um, so when you change the label color you can see it's not that visible right there so I'll go ahead and change the text color to white which will give it, give it a good visibility right there and I would also like to align it to the center so that it looks good so to do that click on the text box right there and use your, use your space bar from the keyboard align it when wherever you want it to be so that looks just fine to me all right so we'll leave it like that so we've added a text to the label so that happens when the visitor hovers their mouse on top of the um, label right there the other thing with annotations are it only works with desktop computers not with uh, mobile phones or tablets etc uh, to do that you have another option called cards you can uh, watch my video on cards I'll leave the link in the description below alright so we've done the text there and next thing we're gonna add is the link so click on the link button here as you can see and that'll open up the whole different panel for you 
So first of all, you'll have to get your um, website associated with your YouTube account to be able to do this. So to do that, you'll have to go through an entire different process. I'll leave a link in the description below where I'll show you guys how to do that. So I've already associated my website with this YouTube account. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab the link. I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. So and we'll preview the link. That looks good and we're done with that. Now next thing you'll have to do is to properly align this label to the timeline. So now we have done with all the editings but we have to make sure when the label starts when the video plays and when it stops so to do that I would like to start the label right when the link on the video on the screen appears so to do that what I'll do is I'll grab and hold the time bar button right there and I'll watch the frame by frame thumbnails YouTube shows us so watch that and let go of the mouse button and will have a close enough time period right there and to make it more precise what I'll do is I'll keep the selection on the time bar right there and I'll use the right and left arrow keys on the keyboard to get a precise placement on the time frame this will allow you to go frame by frame and I'd like to leave it right there see when I use my arrows it gives me the correct time frame where it appears on the screen so and next thing what you'll have to do is to go ahead and move this label block and align it to the timeline here on the edit editing panel so that will make sure that it the label appears along with the website link when it appears on the video while it is playing now what you'll have to do is to go ahead and make sure it disappears along with the video link so I'll use the same thing I used I'll use the time bar here and let go of my mouse and to get a precise time period I'll again use the keyboard left arrow to bring it back and left and right arrows and right there that's the last time frame where this link is appearing on the screen so all you can you can grab you can click and hold on to the um, one of the ends here and you can stretch it or shorten it so I'll align it with the timeline here and that will make sure it is aligned properly with the timeline and I'll play it back for you guys really quick give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and I'd also like to invite you to come over to my website trueonlineriches.com and I have some cool ebooks coming up so that you can download it for free I'll see you in the next video. Bye. There you go. So we're done with that label right there for my website link. And I'm going to show you how I add the links to my end card for this video and subscribe button. Same thing. I'm going to follow the same thing I just did for you guys. Uh, the only difference is when I click the link for those labels, you just have to choose the appropriate selection from this um, selection here or the drop-down menu here so sit back and watch me do that I'm gonna add another label to this video and to the subscribe button
so we're done with adding labels another thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that we also have an option to redirect the link to a new window if you guys prefer to do that and once you're done with everything make sure to apply changes and that's how you add clickable links to your YouTube video. All right, I really hope this video helped you guys in understanding how to add a clickable link on your YouTube video. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I would also like to invite you to my website, trueonlinerichest.com. I'll see you in next video. Bye.